1950s, when my father was graduating from high school, government agencies and the military would come recruiting at high schools. My father decided that he wanted to work for the FBI. At one point growing up, I decided to ask my dad what happened to his career in the FBI. From that one question, I got the following story. Apparently in the 50s, as kids were recruited out of high school for these jobs, the kids lived in a dormitory like setting at a house. From what he said, there was a party. And my dad, for a small guy, he was only five feet six inches tall, he could drink with the best of them. In fact, my mother and my father were the same height, but she looked taller than him, and I think that was because she had longer legs. According to him, at this party, another person that lived in the house thought that my dad should stop drinking, and this guy thought that my dad had had enough alcohol, but my father disagreed, apparently. They got into a fight, and my dad was thrown through a plate glass window. Well, the police were called, and the FBI did not take this lightly. Thus, the FBI told him that he was on probation for a year, and as long as he could stay out of trouble for that year, he could come back. At this point of the story, I laughed and said, ah, so you could not stay out of trouble. As my dad continued, he said that he went home to Coal Fire, Alabama, and at one point he went to visit his uncle Mark Harper in Birmingham, Alabama. Mark was his mother, Vera's brother. Mark and my dad decided that they were going to take a trip to Panama City, Florida. While in Panama City, they were at a bar on a beach, and my father decided that his goal for the evening was that he was going to drink an entire case of beer all by himself. Now, he said that he was flirting with the barmaid, and when he reached his 23rd beer, he apparently was annoying this girl, and she called the sheriff. He got wind of this and decided it was time to leave, and as he went for the door, in walked the sheriff. My dad was out on the beach when the sheriff realized that this was his guy, so he came after my dad. My dad said that he went into the ocean to avoid the sheriff, and his description of trying to keep his balance in the water was hysterical. This behavior, of course, infuriated the sheriff, and as soon as he fished my dad out of the ocean, he knocked my dad out cold with one punch. My dad wakes up in the jail with a very angry sheriff on his hands. My dad tries to tell him that he works for the FBI, but the sheriff did not believe him. My dad said he had seven charges against him. I cannot remember them all, but he had charges of impersonating an FBI agent, uh, resisting arrest, drunk and disorderly conduct, just to name a few. However, when the sheriff called the FBI, of course, that was the end of my father's career in the government. Mark came and bailed him out eventually. Now, my father could handle his alcohol, and I only saw him drunk less than a handful of times. One thing about him was that when he was under the influence of alcohol, he was the sweetest man. My father loved to have a good time, likely why he and my mom fit so well together, and he was rarely drunk that I ever saw. But I have to admit, this was one of the funniest stories he ever told me about his life.